This is the homework for 5-5, five, 5-6, five, five, A, B, and C, 5-7, A, and 5-8. For problem 5-5, five, five, you have a tile pattern that has five tiles in figure zero and add seven tiles in each new figure. Y represents the total tiles. Seven represents the number of tiles added to each figure. X is the figure number. And five is the number of tiles in figure zero, your y-intercept, or your initial value. So if we wanted to find out how many tiles were in figure 10, we would substitute 10 with, um, for X and it would be seven times 10 is 70, plus five is 75. So the total tiles for figure 10 would be 75. In problem five, six, you need to solve for x. So you need to isolate the variable. We're gonna do a bunch of inverse operations to solve for x. First is inverse property of addition is subtraction. So we're gonna subtract 22 from both sides of the equation. This creates a zero pair, and we're left with 2x on the left side. On the right side, we have more negatives than positives, so we know it's gonna be a negative. Signs are opposite, so we're gonna subtract. 22 minus 12 is 10, so it's negative 10. Inverse property multiplication is division. We divide both sides by two. This creates the giant one, which you do to one side, you do to the other and we have x equals negative five because negative 10 divided by two is negative five. For b, we're gonna solve for y. I have a negative y, and I don't wanna know what negative y equals, so I wanna make it positive. So I'm gonna do the inverse property of subtraction, which is addition. I'm gonna add y to both sides. That creates a zero pair, and I'm left with two x equals positive y plus three. Still don't have y by itself, so inverse property of addition is subtraction. I subtract three from both sides. And on the left side I have two x minus three. Two x minus three equals y. And the proper way of writing it is y equals two x minus three. For problem c, I'm going to solve for x. And I'm going to, the inverse property of addition is subtraction, so I'm going to subtract 15 from both sides. <clears throat> Created a zero pair, I'm left with 2x on the left side. Negative 15 and negative 15 is a negative 30. Still don't have x by itself. I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, and you see that this is a zero pair, this is a zero pair, and I'm left with zero equals negative 30. Well, that's a not, not a true statement, so there's no solution. In problem 57A, I need to solve for x. And one way to do that is to cross multiply. 10 multiplied by x is 10x. 16 multiplied by 7 is 112. Now I'm going to do inverse property of multiplication which is division. I divide both sides by 10, which creates the giant one. One multiplied by x is x. 112 divided by 10 is 11 and 2 tenths. For problem 5, 8, I needed to graph the lines y equals negative 4x plus 3 and y equals x minus 7. So, for the first one, here's my y-intercept. On the y-axis, it's a positive three. One, two, three. And my rate of change is a negative four x. So remember, the tree is going to be falling towards the negative x's. So you know that it's gonna be slanting towards the negative x's. And I could go down negative 4, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, over 1, negative 3, 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 over 1, because negative 4 over 1 equals negative 4. Or I could do positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 1, because 4 divided by negative 1 is still negative 4. For the second equation, I have y equals x minus 7. Well, I could place a 1 in here, because 1 multiplied by x is the identity property of multiplication. So 1 multiplied by x would just give me x. So 1 could, could be written as 1 over 1. And my y-intercept is negative 7. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And from there, I have a positive x. So this my tree is going to be falling towards the positive x's. So I know the slant of this line is going to be slanting towards the positive x's. And from my y-intercept, I'm going to go positive 1, up positive 1, over positive 1. Rise positive 1, over positive 1. And since it has a constant rate of change, it creates that line at a constant rate. And it asked for the point of intersection. The point of intersection is where the two lines meet. They cross over each other. Think of an intersection of um, a road where two roads cross over. And at that point is right here. Positive 2 on the x, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5 on the y. So the point of intersection is 2, comma, negative 5.